So you can now get free AI art with Canva. If you go to Creator Design after logging into your Canva account, choosing something like an Instagram post, you can now go down the left menu here to more. And there's a bunch of apps here to install. You can type in text to image. And here we go, we have the text to image app, which if we click on, we can choose to use. And it's pretty simple. What's really cool about this is there's a few different options you can choose. So let's just start with something basic. So I'm gonna say, which is one I use a lot in a lot of my videos, so we can use it for comparison. And we can choose surprise me, because here we can actually pick a style. But right now I'm gonna choose surprise me and click generate image. It's gonna think about it. And you can see we've got a few different options here. Some of these are pretty cool. So we can add this picture in here and use it as part of what we're doing. So that's a, it's pretty cool. This is free, by the way, because Canva does have a free plan. And this option, I'm using a free account. And I've created a free image. But just a quick one, we're gonna have a look at some of the different styles here. So we've got this here, the puppy with everyone's gonna add a page. And then we're gonna go start again down the bottom here. I'm gonna try the same thing, but this time we're gonna choose 3D. So they're not all 3D, but you can see here, we've got these two here. This one looks like it's the best. So we can add that one to our image. So we can add that one to our image. And now we have a 3D puppy with sunglasses. So now you can try a few things with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump out a few and we're just gonna see what kind of results we get. Look at the quality of this image. If I add a page, pop it in there. This is a pretty, pretty good quality image for something that is free. Like, look at those eyes. Like, the eyes aren't perfect, but, I mean, up until recently, Mid Journey wasn't doing uh, too well with the eyes, so I think this is pretty amazing. And we've also got this one here because it's very difficult to convince human eyes of sort of artificially made faces because this is what we look at most of the time. We're very good at picking when a face looks fake. And even this one here is really... Pretty convincing, very cool. So we can also try a scene as well. So we've got a few different styles and a few are still popping up, but this one looks like a bit of an illustration and very, very nice job. We've got a photo here. Now this one is AI generated and looks almost like a complete photo. Just it's only when you really zoom into the details, you can tell that it's AI art because basically this is all powered by stable diffusion. So that's a great thing about Stable Diffusion making their sort of their technology open source is that places like Canva and other other platforms which offer their services for free can actually integrate it into what they do. So that is the Canva AI text to image generator, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing you'll notice is it actually appears here in your uploads. So all the images you add actually get added to your uploads. So you can actually hold onto them in your account by looks of it and use them at any time. So after you've generated these images, they stay in your account for you to use. And it's, it's, it's a pretty handy, um, pretty handy little technology. We're gonna head back to text to image now. We're going to remove this page. We're gonna download these images and just have a quick look at the resolution to see what kind of size we actually get. Now I've got this open in Photoshop and we can choose to import any of these pages at a certain size. But if I go straight to images, it'll import these images at their native resolution. So let's import both of these and see how big these images are. So these images are 512 by 512 pixels. So even though you don't quite get the same resolution as a paid service like Mid Journey or something like that, which allows you to get 1024 by 1024, or if you're using their test algorithm up to 2048 by 2048, but uh, it is free and 512 by 512 is not bad when considering you don't have to pay for it. So, um, and you can also try an AI upscaler if you're looking to get more out of these images, which uh, I'll pop a link to on the screen here. But otherwise that's it, head to Canva if you wanna check this out, very cool feature free which is pretty amazing uh, otherwise i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you want more videos like this check out my channel otherwise have a great day and i'll see you again soon